Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. Y'all, we have a really exciting video for you today. Of course, we got to get into the real housewives of Atlanta. Um, y'all, what is going on with Marlo Hampton? Okay, the ultimate sidekick trying to shade Shamia Martin for being a good friend to Miss Portia, Portia, Portia. Okay, yes, we got to get into it. Okay, it's the battle of the sidekicks. And speaking of sidekicks, y'all, okay, the new girls on the show, Miss Drew and LaToya, honey, they are just going off. Okay, they're going off and we got to talk about it. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. All right, you guys, so let's dive right into the mess. First things first, can we talk about Marlo? Okay, can we talk about the friend of the show, Miss Marlo Hampton? She is on Instagram, okay, shading the hell out of Shamia. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this picture up on the screen of Miss Marlo Hampton. Now, first things first, you know I gotta, you know, talk about the looks, okay? You know I gotta talk about the fashion. Marlo looks fabulous, okay? She looks fabulous in this picture right here. Her hair is on point, okay? I wonder if she's wearing go naked. She has the beautiful, uh, what do you call them things? Uh, poncho? Okay, it looked like she got on a poncho or something like that. I don't know, but it's cute, okay? A little throw situation. And then, uh, y'all, the leather brown boots, like, give me fashion, Marlo, okay? Give me fashion. I always say, if you're not going to bring the drama, the least you could do is bring the fashions. And we know Marlo is going to give us all the fashions. So now that we've talked about Marlo's fashions, okay, can we get into her caption? Her caption says, the woman I am today won't allow me to get distracted with nonsense from sidekicks. Now, this had a lot of shade wrapped up in it, okay? There was a lot of shade in that caption because when I read it, I was just like... Well, who in the hell is Marlo talking about? Okay, I had to tilt my head like a damn dog. Who is Marlo talking about? Marlo Hampton, who are you talking about? In my opinion, it seems like she's talking about Miss Portia, Portia, Portia's best friend, Miss Shamia Morton, okay? Now, why would she be talking about Shamia? Well, Shamia has been on Candy Speak on it. She's been on social media. And we've seen her on the show in the past couple of episodes kind of questioning Marlo and her motives, okay? Because to be honest, I'm questioning Marlo and her motives from the bedroom at home when I watch the show every week. All Shamia did was question Marlo. She said, Marlo, why are you being Inspector Gadget 2.0? We saw in last Sunday's episode that Marlo was trying to get on everybody's case, trying to figure out yet again who slept with Bolo and his thing, okay? Who had a threesome? And uh, Shamia's just like, why are you doing that? Okay, we already have Kenya. We already have LaToya. We don't need Miss Marlo Hampton, okay, Miss Square Reader to be Inspector Gadget 2.0. Now, I guess Marlo is feeling some type of way because Shamia has been a great friend to Portia. Okay, shout out to Shamia. I do want to give her her props because, honey, Shamia is best friend of the year. Okay, if you need a secret to go to the grave, I would only tell Shamia because you know she's going to be down. Unlike Candy, who says what happens in the dungeon stays in the dungeon, but is yet confirming everything throughout the whole season. Anyways, I digress. I guess Marlo doesn't like the fact that Shamia is being a good friend and is questioning Marlo and her motives. And so she went to Instagram and said, I can't allow myself to get distracted with the nonsense from sidekicks. Okay. Now, do I personally believe that Shamia is a sidekick? Absolutely not, okay? I feel like that's just a rude way of calling someone a good friend. However, it's kind of ironic that Marlo would caution me of this because if my memory serves me correctly, Marlo is the ultimate sidekick to Miss Lenithia Leakes, okay? And we know she's a social climber, okay? She will hop from friend to friend to friend to keep her relevancy Okay, she first came on the show with Nene and then she, you know, hopped off that bandwagon and became besties with Kenya Moore hair care. And then after she shaded Kenya Moore and her relationship with her mother, she hopped off that bandwagon and went back to Nene. And now that Nene's not on the show, you could kind of see that she was kind of clinging to Portia a little bit. And now it looks like she threw Portia in the trash and is best friends with Kenya once again. And so, girl, you are the ultimate sidekick. So... 
that's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black. I mean, I'm just saying. So let me know what you guys think about that situation down in the comments below. Now, before we get on out of here, y'all, okay? I'm here for a fun time, not a long time, okay? This is gonna be a really short video. I did want to mention the fight between Miss Druisha and everybody's favorite YouTuber, Miss Yavana 2.0, okay? AKA Latoya Ali. I did wanna mention this fight because, honey, what in the hell is going on? Okay, one minute y'all are making out, okay, and confiding in each other. And then the next minute y'all are fighting, talking about some, that's why your husband is canceling your ass. Like at this point, I'm just kind of exhausted, okay, by the situation. Check this clip out. Do you honor marriage being bumping and grinding on Bolo? That's why your husband trying to cancel your ass. Right, so, well, that's why like, your let's marriage not go is there. I have a perfect that's marriage, why your a marriage perfect hairline, struggling. bitch, and three perfect children. Now, you guys, I have no idea what event this was. It looks like, you know, some type of bachelorette PJ party or what have you. But um, you had Portia there. You had Shamia there, I believe. You had the ultimate sidekick, Miss Marlo Hampton. And then you had the two new girls, Druisha and everybody's favorite YouTuber. Now, I'm kind of confused as to why they're fighting because honestly, I feel like they're both wrong. Okay, I feel like they're both wrong. In that clip, you hear Drew saying, you know, uh, I have a perfect marriage and I have perfect kids and I have the perfect life and I have perfect wigs. And I'm like, okay, hold up, girl. Okay, Druisha, I love you. Okay, you are one of my faves this season. However, your wigs ain't perfect and neither is your marriage. Okay, and so um, do I think Drew doesn't value her marriage because she was bumping and grinding on Bolo? Absolutely not. Okay, men dance with and get dances from strippers all the time. And I would argue that they still value their families and their wives. Okay. And so it's potato, potato. How Cynthia say tomato, tomato. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. And so I don't like this double standard as if, uh, you know, Drew can't value her husband just because she got a couple of dances from Bolo and his thing. Now, with that also being said, I feel like Drew is also wrong because you can't say that Latoya doesn't value marriage just because she's separated and she feels like she can do whatever the hell she wants right? If her and her husband who are estranged have an understanding that they can go outside of their covenant and date, then they're well within their means. That has nothing to do with Latoya not valuing husbands or marriages. And so I'm gonna have to call a draw on this one, okay? I feel like Drew is wrong and Latoya is wrong, all right? So let me know what you guys think about that situation down in the comments below. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you and don't forget to create a great day. Bye you guys.